we're moving into a hamstring sweep. Standing on your mat, prop one heel out in front, toes are up, driving your hips back, swinging your arms slightly in behind, keeping a nice flat back. You're gonna sweep the arms down as you stand up, swing the arms to shoulder height, and then repeat on the other side. So prop, hips back, swing up, and repeat for one minute. So we're just alternating those sides. So as you go to shift your hips back, you're gonna feel a stretch in that front leg hamstring. Depending on how tight it is, you can have a soft bend in the knee or the leg can be straight. Try to keep a nice flat back as you go. So pressing the chest forward, not going down so far that your back starts to round. As you get more into it, see if you can't sit those hips back a little bit more at the start. All right, time's up, come back to center. We're moving into a standing quad stretch. If you need something to hold onto for balance, go ahead and find that. You're gonna grab your ankle or foot if you can't reach your ankle and gently draw that leg back. Having your legs relatively close together, we're gonna to hold here for 30 seconds. So try to keep your chest up nice and tall, belly button slightly drawn in, just engage the core a bit to help with balance. You want your knee pointed down and again, your legs relatively close together. Right, time's up on that side, go ahead and switch. Grab the ankle, or if you can't, grab the foot, and holding for 30 seconds. Again, try to have that knee facing or pointed down and your legs fairly close together. All right, and time's up, relax at center. We're moving into over the hedge. Standing centered on your mat, this movement is meant to open up the hips. So you're gonna lead one knee up, circle out as much as you can, then place your foot down, keep it where it is, bring the knee back up and circle back to where you started. So you're going in and out for 30 seconds, just staying on that one side. So you wanna focus on as big of a range of motion as you can get, leading and almost drawing a partial circle with that knee, really opening up into the hip, hip flexor. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch for 30 seconds. Again, take your time, focus on a big range of motion or as much as you can. All right, and time's up, relax at center. We're moving into a three-point hamstring stretch. So standing comfortable, your feet are about hip distance apart. You're gonna angle your toes out about 45 degrees. From here, tuck your chin to your chest, let it relax down, and then slowly fold forward, letting your spine round. As we come down, just as far as you're able to, once you're at your ending point, we're gonna stay here for 20 seconds. So try to let your head relax, feeling a stretch throughout the back of the legs and your spine.
All right, you're gonna come up halfway, hands to about the knees, bring your toes facing forward, and then refold down. Relax the head, round the spine, and hang out at your ending point for 20 seconds. All right, again, coming up to the halfway point. Now we're gonna angle our toes in 45 degrees and fold back down for the final 20 seconds. So by doing all of these different angles, we're hitting all points of our hamstrings. All right, slowly round and roll your back all the way back up. Head comes up last and stand center. We're moving into a side lying quad stretch. So picking one side to start, coming onto it, you're gonna relax your head onto your arm. Both legs are straight, then grabbing either the ankle or the foot if you can't reach and gently drawing back. You want your quads and your legs to be even as you pull back and relatively close together. We're gonna hold here for 45 seconds. Now, if you can't reach your ankle or your foot, feel free to use a strap to help you out. And just relax your head down, focus on letting that quad stretch out. All right, thumbs up on that side. Go ahead and switch. So grabbing either the ankle or the foot, relaxing your head down and holding for 45 seconds. Give your hips a slight push forward. And again, watch if those quads and thighs are even. All right, time's up, release, and come back to center. We're moving into a V-sit. So sitting center on your mat, you're gonna place your legs out just as far as you can apart, having your heels down and pulling your toes up to your shins. If this is enough of a stretch, you really feel those hamstrings, you're gonna stay right here. And if not, you're gonna walk your hands forward, letting your back round and relax, reaching your ending point and holding for 45 seconds. So you should feel a big stretch of the back of the legs into the hamstrings. Try to keep those toes pointed upward just so they're not collapsing in. If anything, you wanna round them out slightly. All right, time's up. Bring your arms back up and sit comfortably on your mat. We're moving into dynamic scorpion. So lying on your belly, relax your forehead on the mat and your arms straight out to the side. From here, you're gonna lift one leg, bend at the knee, and then draw it across and over just as far as you can, opening up, pause, 
bring it back to center and repeat on the other side. We're going to alternate for 45 seconds. So we're opening up in the chest and the hip from the rotation as well as stretching out into the low back and the SI joints. All right, time's up. Come back to center on your mat. We're moving into a seated four with ankle rotations. Seated on your mat, one foot is flat, placing the ankle on the opposite knee. Flexing the toes up, you're gonna circle your ankle in one direction for 20 seconds. So you're stretching out the glute of the leg that is bent up, thinking about pushing that knee away from you, keeping your chest nice and tall, hands in behind for support. And try to make a big circle leading with the toes. All right, other direction for 20 seconds. So we're stretching out the glute by having that leg up and increasing ankle mobility with those circles. Focus on your range of motion. You might also feel like you're strengthening your ankle as you're pulling and pressing to make those rotations. All right, time's up on that side. Go ahead and switch into position and circle one way for 20 seconds. Again, keep that chest up nice and tall and actively try to push that bent knee away from your body. Change directions for 20 seconds. All right, time's up, release, and come back to center. We're moving into staff pose. You're gonna have a seat with your legs extended straight out. Heels down, toes pulled up to your shin. From here, hands are at your sides, and you wanna press your chest forward, pull your shoulders down, sit up as tall as you can, almost exaggerating good posture and holding for 30 seconds. So being nice and rigid and stiff in the upper body with a slight lean forward, you should feel a stretch into the hamstrings while also feeling a bit of strengthening throughout the back. So this is definitely an active stretch, actively sitting up super tall to get a stretch into the hamstrings. All right, time's up, relax, back at center.